Yes. I fucking knew it. Yes. All right, check this out. Telltale says he may be able to finish The Walking Dead. Now, see, I was about to say they better be able to do this shit because I was definitely pretty skeptical. And then again, I started thinking about it as well. They can probably still finish it somehow. You know, they decide, because I mean, that is their big money maker after all. You know, multiple partners have accepted forward to help finish the series, finally, the final season. So, I mean, I'm glad that finally, I had a feeling that was going to happen then, because I was, like everyone else, heartbroken and lost whether or not they would actually be able to finish it. So, I'm actually here to, I'm actually pretty glad to hear that news. And moving on, Telltale Games laid off most, as we all know, laid off most of its staff like, late last week. Um, the surprise is news hit fans of its long running series, The Walking Dead, especially hard as its narrative arc was just months from winding down. According to a statement issued on Twitter this evening, multiple partners have shown interest in helping to complete the series. Um, here it is right here. Hi everyone, we have a Walking Dead update for you. Multiple potential partners have stepped forward to express interest in helping to see the final season through to completion. While we can't make any promises today, we are actively working towards a season that will help allow episodes three and four to, com- to be completed and released in some form in the meantime. Now, here's my thing. With multiple partners stepping up, possibly stepping up, having the potential to do so, I really hope they kind of stick to the same kind of animation. You know, and they still use, like, the proper scripting that the voice actors used, you know, to make things the way it was and that would, would, make, would make it so unique and lovable. I really do. I pretty much, what I'm just going to say is I hope they really, uh, James Gunn the situation in terms of just using his script. And I hope they do the same thing with uh, The Walking Dead final season because if they don't do that i mean it's gonna be a little wonky in a way but i'm still gonna enjoy whether they use parts of it or the full thing or if not in my opinion this is just as long as they do right by the character that's clement time that's all that i really care about and the graphics are still the same way the thing is telltale i mean what will they honestly change but anyway as i was reading while we can't promise to make any promises today we are actively working towards a solution for episodes three and four to be completed and released in some form. Now, I'm really curious as to, okay, what form are they going to complete it in, I wonder. And in the meantime, episode 2 will release tomorrow across all platforms as planned. We hope to have answers for your question, other questions soon. Thank goodness. Now, Tales of the Walking Dead began with least of its first episode in 2012. That Mr. Reason was critically acclaimed, including being awarded Polygon's Game of the Year Award. Definitely remember that with those times. Now, at the time that it actually came out, I actually didn't express too much interest in it. It was about, I guess you could say about a year after, or just about six months into the, the 2012 year that I started to express interest. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, after multiple seasons, the next few months were to see the conclusion of the narrative arc, reaching its main protagonist, Clementine, who players have known since she was a child. And that's, again, that's what's really hitting me the most still to this day, that she was just a little kid when it all started six years ago. I mean, I was a little kid when this stuff happened. I mean, it's crazy. I mean, I was 16 when it first happened, man. So it, it's definitely been with me ever since. But anyway, its first episode was released on August 14th. Episode 2 is set to be released tomorrow. Telltale confirms that the episode will go out the door as planned, and that gave hope that the final two episodes could eventually see the light of day. And I'm glad as hell because I mean, you can't just you can't just leave a cliffhanger like that, bro. You just can't. So Telltale's potential closure leaves several high-profile projects in the air in the lurch. Among them is a collaboration with Netflix to produce games based on the hit '80s theme science fiction drama Stranger Things. The streaming giant tells Polygon that one of those games could still be completed by the 25-person team left at Telltale. It's unclear if that same team will be would also be responsible for working on final episodes of The Walking Dead. Now, I will say this: with Netflix's game one them wanting to be completed, and being that it is, from my knowledge, a, a, a contractual obligation, it's kind of kind of making me a little weird knowing that you know now they're not putting that into question as well. But hopefully, they figure. I'm pretty sure they'll figure everything out. Thank you, Universe, for, for giving us that, that big-ass array of light. We really needed that as gamer fans of The Walking Dead final series and its other counterparts. This has been your Watch Series. So let me know what you guys think. Are you guys still shocked about this? Like, what are your opinions on, you know, Telltale just suddenly closing down and knocking off half of most of its sad? Let me know in the comments section below, man, if you guys like videos like this. 
you know, if you have, have actually, if you have, if you have any requests on what videos you guys want me to do, whether it be like this, my reviews, or any other shows you want me to review or talk about, please let me know in the comment section below, or feel free to private message me in the back side of my YouTube page. This has been your boy, Service Peace. God bless.